Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the No Time To Be Sad channel. We, uh, we're we gonna head to Konkin this morning, to Konkin Ram Hospital. My mother-in-law is not doing really well. We had a couple of blood tests done for her uh, at the clinic next door, and everything seems to be looking okay, but my the, her doctor seems to think that she may have a blood flow issue and it's best for her to go check with a hot heart doctor and make sure she doesn't have any valve problems or restrictions this and that so i've postponed my trip i was gonna go take a little me time trip so it's been terminated because i need to make sure that my mother-in-law is healthy so we're gonna go there and find out does she need to do more tests does she need to stay in the hospital for a while um, I don't know maybe it's nothing but it's better to be concerned than to be passive when it comes to to her health especially since she's she's had some issues with her heart and um, she's 72 years old, so that's what's happening today. Mamu and Matthim are gonna come with us. And you know, it's funny, everybody is just like, oh, let's, it's like they're going on another little trip. You know, they're excited to go somewhere, eat some food, drive, and not really thinking about it too much. But as of right now, she does, she's walking, but she needs to, I know the doctors already told her that her cholesterol is a little bit high. So she needs to stop eating fried foods. But for the most part, she needs to be a little bit more active than she is. And I know it's difficult when you have ailments and you're overweight. So it's, it's hard to get that push. And my mother-in-law does not like to be pushed at all. She's a little bit stubborn. So... You know, it is what it is, I, I guess. So we're going on a trip today to Con Ken, going to the hospital. Yay. Come with us. Good morning. I know you guys aren't worried about me, but don't worry about me. I'll figure time out for myself at some point before our Thai New Year Song Kran. It's all going to work out. I know it. <laughs> I'm, I don't have a look of stress on my face. It's a look of, I got a lot of stuff to do at the, uh, at the current moment. Good morning. You ready to go on a trip? <laughs> to the hospital? Again? Again. Your mom says we haven't been in a year and a half, but I thought we were there. I guess it's been a while to have her checked up. Every time we go, her heart seems to be okay though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in COVID. Maybe we did. COVID was just kind of like a bit of kind of just nothing, you know. Believe it or not, I well, I don't like to see people sick or I'm always willing to help, but I kinda of like chaos. I was really trying to figure out what am I gonna do for the next few days before I go on this road trip. I didn't really know what to do. And now it's like, ah, I'm busy, like very busy, but that's kind of how, how I do it. I know a lot of people think when they're retired, what are they gonna do with their time? Well, I've some, somehow or another, like I don't really have a lot of time most of the time. <laughs> most of the time I'm doing something, keeping busy. Mafia, money okay, my? by Tiao Hamol. We're gonna go on a little road trip to the doctor. I got a pack. You like my shirt? <laughs> well, let's go get the uh, the other ladies and get on the road. I've got about a, well with them, it's about a four hour drive, I think, from here to, to Quan Ken. It is, 940 they're ready to go and um, we can't check in really early so we're gonna just take our time our hospital appointments not till five o'clock
Oh, gum, you have to go home now. Go home. Go home. She's very smart now. She knows. Of course, she is an Isan dog. Kao Gam is actually Kao Dam, which in English means black rice. Kao Dam in Thai, Kao Gam in Isan. And Mueban Gonde means go home <laughs> or going home or get home. There's several different meanings in Thai words. They don't really overthink too much. But I know a lot of people who are learning Thai, they like to say, no Chuck, it means exactly that. But just unlike any language, sometimes slang can mean a few different things depending on where you come from. So I'll explain it the best that I can. You want to bring the chairs in? Huh? Do we need to bring the chairs in? Okay. Okay, bye bye. Beautiful ride out here, but you definitely got to be careful in Nissan because people in 400 meters, they just park right anywhere, left. drive anywhere, pull out in front of you. It could be, uh, it could be dangerous.
We got about another hour till we get to our destination. We're gonna stop here, stretch, take some selfies. And there's a restaurant up the road here. I've taken them many times. Made a cooking video there. Some of the best, some of the best um, grilled chicken. The con I'm not coming up. Con Ken's known for barbecued chicken. And, uh, I'm gonna take you to one of the best restaurants here in Con Ken or Con Ken area. Si uh, se ve is kayak. They're hungry. It is uh twelve twenty, so out look chin look chin my okay out so much look chin look chin huh oh too gone what is that i'm just are we gonna get guy young right just cut select no 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 i want to go on i'll just Oh, five star chicken I I've told you way better than Kentucky fried chicken. But you can get the grilled chicken. That's but I don't want to get any because I'm, I'm going to go eat chicken. I'm going to go eat chicken. was hungry. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, we have finally arrived just inside Con Can. Let's go eat. We're gonna go sit in the air conditioned room. It's too hot out here for them. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description box. VIP piece of bot number nine for everybody or what or just a tiny <laughs> it's so damn hot outside <laughs> Yeah, I 
sticky mm. rice. Okay, it looks awesome. That is a lot of food, huh? Well, not really. Got a good food. Well, it is a good table of food here, huh? Well, we destroyed it. If you guys come here, remember it's all about taste with the chicken. All the ch they like chicken that's close to the bone. So the chicken, it's not like they starve it to death. They actually like it with not too much meat. If it's got a lot of meat, they say it's plain. So. I've learned to adapt. It's actually pretty good. So you may want to get a whole chicken yourself. Okay, don't wear a white shirt when you come here. at the hotel it is 43 degrees right now we still have a couple hours before our appointment did you bring coffee did you bring coffee this one. Right. What is it? Three, three, three. Oh, this one. This was like almost 900 baht a night. I'll leave a link here. Good place to stay on the river. Uh-oh, my wheel fell off. We get it. I bought some little rubbers for my... Yeah, just put it there. <laughs> this is a big, giant room. They're going to get lost in here. I guess it's about the same size. Yeah, anyway, pretty good deal for 800 and I think $890 or so. I don't remember. But you're right on the lake here. There's a blow dryer. <laughs> well, we're not really here to sightsee. I did make a video here. I think I spent a couple of nights here by myself. 
um, a month or so ago. I'll share the video. The hotel by the little entertainment district area was pretty nice. Uh, if you like a little bit more quiet around the beautiful lake, there's good restaurants. We'll go eat at one tonight, I think. Depends on the outcome of the doctor's visit. But I'll share a link to that other video and the hotel that I stayed at in that, that little area. Okay, everybody has rested. It is like a microwave out here. Huh? Yeah, it's still an air fryer. <laughs> air fryer? Yeah. There's a lake over here. Got a nice park. I brought my bike here one time, a long time ago. And rode around. Okay, we pushed our way through, made it. Konkin Ram Hospital. Very good hospital. If I have time, this is where I choose to go, right here. I had my um, nasal surgery here. <coughs> I had two clogged nasal passages. Had surgery here. It took, I think it was, I was in here about two days. <coughs> and here they have one of the best heart, heart doctors in the area. Pizza, steak, guayai, guay home. <laughs> I don't want that. Pretzel. Hello, I. Big hospital. I've never seen this hospital really busy. Normally we come really early. We spend the night and then um, get up early, but I wanted to get a late, uh, I wanted to get her here t as soon as we could. And this is her last appointment. No, there's only pictures of Falang here. So. Okay, we'll just sit here and relax. Well, they sent her out of the room um, after the checkup and said, we got to go take her right here and get some, get an x-ray. I don't know if that's really what she needs. Is Maybe she just thinks it's an x-ray. I don't, I don't know what they're going to x-ray. But Anyway, we got, we got to do something else, more tests. Nothing yet. Hmm? 
when they brought her back in from the x-ray, so we'll see what information we get now. Well, she was back there for a couple hours. She's out now. I don't know if she has the diagnosis. We'll find out. Okay, a couple hours later, she's retaining water. That's why she has swelling in her legs. She's got to take some water pills or something. To, I haven't got the whole story yet, so I'm just letting you guys know as I get it. She's got a leaky valve, which I say is a little bit normal. When you get older, she's leaking a little bit of blood. And, uh, uh, her heart's enlarged a little bit. So she's a little bit happy about the outcome, like it's not that major of a deal. She's had a leaky valve for a while, but um, yeah, we'll get more information in a little bit. Paige is paying the bill. So she get her medication? Yeah. Five thousand. Five thousand baht. So that's roughly I don't know, a little over a hundred dollars. She already has her. She don't need medication. No. Uh, the doctor said take take the same one. Okay. So we have no noise. Buy it for us. I see. So she's retaining water. Retaining she got water. A, her soreness is because her valve is leaking a little bit. Yeah, and then her heart is get a little bit bigger. So she's got a big heart like me. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess she's a little relieved. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go party. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. Long or not? What do you want? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so this, it's unfortunate that we couldn't get mom here for her hip replacement. Here, it starts at 190,000 baht. My mom went to Bangkok Hospital in Huahan, 500,000 baht, and that was it. So anyway, starts at 190 for the hip replacement. All right, they want to get some snacks because they get it. We all actually get I've been getting up at like 3 in the morning, so I'm going to get something here. Well, we get up at 3, too, but the breakfast is until, what, 7 or 6.30? Alright. And we're gonna go get something to eat. Now they're all giggly like little kids. <clears throat> oh well, I'm glad that at least there's uh because my mother-in-law stresses out a lot about stuff. So At least she'll feel better. She'll feel better now. There you go. Total hip replacement. One ninety. Yeah. So that's a, uh, for the government. Uh, worker. Government worker. Yeah, yeah they, they have discount. the uh, insurance. To so the a total knee replacement for mm -hmm. one. One side. One ninety. Start one ninety. Okay. Look, if you want to have a baby. New style LASIK. Yeah. Ninety thousand baht for both eyes. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, three three day you be fine. One so two day. So that is recovery. About three thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, twenty five. Two day recovery. <laughs> she wants to eat, drink beer. <laughs> oh, man, team. <laughs> One Thai word, I'll tell you. Dum is drink, but in Thai, in Thailand they say gin beer, like eat beer. They're gonna eat beer, but speaking language is gin beer, gin beer.
understood She has trouble acting normal when she's nervous Around here Carving out her name Around here We all look the same All right, well, it was a little tricky, but I got in here parallel parked. A lot of traffic right now. Um, but anyway, I want to take them over here if we can get across the street. I took them here before, but they don't remember, but they will. Okay, we have our friend Andy and his wife over here. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Long move at okay. the phone booth. Tony. 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 That water is going to go to her feet. Relaxing evening, got some music. Some good food. <laughs> Seafood by the lake. Paige <laughs> got some sea bass. She can't eat um, saltwater shellfish. Uh, she can't eat saltwater shrimp. She can eat freshwater shrimp. She can eat fish. No squid, no clam. Drunk on water. Oh, report is in only in English. Oh, she put it in English. They all they put it in English. Why? Because she knew I was paying. Like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> We're guys going to end the video tomorrow. We're going to eat breakfast and go home. So we'll uh, we'll get home, talk about what's next. And yeah, I get. I think your mom's a little relieved, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she feels better than I feel. I'm not gonna die. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm very happy that everything is okay with her. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow on our way home. up at the building, says she's thinking of jumping, says she's tired of life.